Okay, so um, I've got a slightly exciting um, video to show today. Um, I've been fooling around with the barcode uh, features of open boxes for a while. Um, and uh, finally uh, bought a, a, a label printer, uh, Zebra ZD420, um, to test out um, the capabilities of uh, uh, doing barcode printing from the product page or actually from any page once we get this working. So we added a feature a while ago to allow you to both render and print uh, barcodes um, and also export. You can kind of see what is made, what these are made of. So let's do a two by one. Um, so this is what uh, a barcode would look like printed. Uh, unfortunately, the text wraps um, or does not wrap, uh, goes around um, the edge, but we don't really care. We're just playing around. Um, and this is generated based on uh, some Zebra programming language code that we have uh, uh, essentially designed. Um, you can do the design here if you'd like to. Um, let me actually format this to make it look a little bit better. The uh, FOs are supposed to be on one line. So if I wanted to, I could put, um, and this is the end, uh, you could add in another line. If you wanted to put in the lot number. Um, and let's redraw it. So that looks ugly. Um, I don't know Zebra programming language well enough to uh, just start modifying, but you can um, either use uh, the Zebra designer or um, you know read the manual and, and figure out how how to make it work. But um, this is what we're supposed to get when we generate this. So I'm going to print this to our printer. And you can see down here it is printed. This is uh, actually the first two tests. Um, this is the third test. Let me rip this off and show you. So it just looks pretty much um, identical to oops, there it is to the uh, uh, the 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 rendering here. Um, the way we did that uh, was through a feature. Um, that, well, we, we call it document templates. So we've got these templates um, that we can create. Um, in this case, we have a template type of zebra template. And so what I could do is, um, I'm actually gonna call this product template or product barcode, um, because I could come in and create another one for like a shipment or um, pretty much anything uh, that we want to. And that, that shipping label might be a four by six, um, which would be different from the two by one um, uh, label that you might put on a bin location or uh, a product. But um, so let's see. Uh, essentially what we don't have right now is a way of uh, associating these types with a particular object in the system, but that will be something that we add in uh, pretty soon. So what we do from there, um, so these document uh, types just sort of trigger, tr tell us like, a, okay, we've got a, a zebra template here, um, but what we need to do on top of that is create a, um, a, an actual document template, and I will show you what that looks like here. Um, and so this is, again, our code. If we take it to, um, if we take it to here, this is what it looks like, and redraw it. Um, so this part here is a variable within open boxes. Um, and so you can add whatever variables you want to. Um, in the case of uh, the, uh, the item label or the product label, um, we the context is the inven inventory item or the product. Um, at, at the moment, you can get to the product from the inventory item, so we're just leaving it there. So let me go back here and show you that. So basically when I do this, um, th there's a context that's created to um, to allow us to pass some data. If we were on a shipping document and we wanted to print a barcode label, um, we would pass obviously the shipment. Um, uh, so let's go back to our document. 
management. Um, so what we did is we have this here um, and we uploaded it to uh, this document template. And so I'm going to actually change this to product barcode just so you can see how it's linked up instead of item. So let's go back here. And what you'll see here is um, when I refresh, this should be called product barcode. So if we created another one, we'd get another five um, uh, buttons or links, um, which I don't think you know we'll do um, for the long term, but this is an experiment. So um, what I think will eventually happen is we'll probably have one button to allow you to you know, click on it here and say print barcode labels. It'll show you um, this in a dialog and ask you how many you want to print. And then you'll print to USB or RAW. Um, that, that will be uh, what you choose. And just to show you how I configured this, we've got config.groovy um, barcode. So we've got a printer name, which is used for the USB. Um, and you can see the printers I have defined here. Um, I've got one called printer, which is the uh, just printing over. Uh, it's sending straight ZPL over um, this IP address and port. Um, 9100 is sort of the raw port for uh, sending ZPL straight to the printer. And then we've got uh, this printer here. I believe that's right. Let me double check that. Printer. Yeah, so I think we're printing to this one over USB. So um, the only tricky part here and th this is the default configuration. I'm not going to show you what my configuration is, but uh, for the USB, you'd pick this printer name, um, which is uh, this part, but with lowercase letters and I think um, underscores in between for spaces. And I can show you on the uh, settings page where that printer name comes from. So settings. trouble clicking buttons right now. So here's where that is. Um, so we've got this printer set up. That's the HTTP one. That, um, this is the USB one. And what I would need to do in order to get this to work is put in for the printer name um, all of this with lowercase letters. I don't know why it requires lowercase letters at the moment, but uh, I think it's a bug with the, the printing library that we're using. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Let me, so now let us go back to 1001. Let's print one more label, uh, raw. And what I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna turn on my barcode scanner and I actually need to be up here. Um, but once I scan that, it'll throw it into that and I'll search for the product. So if you had a um, shipping label, uh, shipping barcode, it would go to the sh uh, shipment barcode, um, or sorry, the shipment page. If you had a lot number, it would probably come here. Um, and uh, what we're hoping to do is build uh, more workflows around uh basically like a mobile device um, to allow you to, you know, pull up an actual um, document, like a receiving document or uh, the, just a, just a, an adjust stock. Um, so for example, I might uh, have that barcode attached to an event that will allow us to do an adjust stock, or you can um, have a control sheet that, that's a, that has like a barcode, um, for every action in the system, like adjust stock, and you can do say barcode um, the uh, the ID uh, the, the 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 product ID, and then barcode the action, or vice versa. And you you'd come to a page that would essentially show you uh, some details about the product, and then the, uh, the where you 
how you want to adjust the quantity. And so I think that's about it. Um, there's more details that I'm probably um, skimming over, but you can ask questions in the comments if you're interested. All right. Have a good day.